Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Um, kind of a special show tonight. You know, it's it's just about Christmas time. It's it's very, very close. Uh, I got some great people here to be on tonight, um, but I want to real quick, I, I've had people jumping on already, and it just started, but uh, Connor Bryant, my buddy in Australia, he's watching us right now, and James Stephen Spike from back in New York, he's watching us right now, too, and then I got a lot of Facebook users. And Kieran Devin, okay, I believe his last name is Johnson. He's from Colorado. I'm very, very glad you're watching, buddy. I had had him on here a few weeks ago. It was a great interview. It really, really was. So tonight I got some uh, I got some pretty cool people on. And plus, what I'm going to do tonight is uh, I'm going to give away a couple of shirts uh, to a couple couple people. And then um, what I want to do is uh, if you want to jump on tonight and you want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, I'm going to let you jump on. Um, I'm going to probably have to have Bill help me out with this so he can go ahead and send the invites and stuff like that because he knows I suck at it. So, But uh, I got some great people on tonight and I want to I want to bring them up real quick here. So I'm going to give my shout outs like I do every every week. Um, these are the people that that have not only meant a lot to me in the past, but still mean an awful lot to me right now. These are guys that worked extremely hard building the sport of paintball. And, um, you know, I can never, ever say enough about them. I, I always try. I always mention them every week. But I wish everybody that plays paintball now could go back in the day and see what these guys actually did to build the sport. It would absolutely. They're just terrific. And Eli Booth. Very happy holidays to you. Chico Strada, always. Very good man, Chico Strada. Anyhow, um, start with Tim Schloss. I uh, had Tiger Stripe back in the day. He has Gateway Paintball, and he is going to be the last WCPL uh, tournament this year, and it's in St. Louis, and you're going to want to go there. Tim's Fields, I, <coughs> they're just extremely cool. I mean, if you get to do anything, you're going to want to check out these fields. They're absolutely awesome period. So, Mr. Tim Schloss, um, like I say, Gateway Paintball, six minutes from the airport, St. Louis, Missouri. And then I got to say hi to Dan and John Colby. Now, normally I have my tank up here tonight, but I got my fireplace set up and I got my big nut guy over here, you know, my wife says, yeah, that'll look cool. So, you know, that's, that's what I got going on. So, I don't have my tank up, but Dan and John Colby um, used to be Air America back in the day and now it's Immortal Air. And I've been uh, sponsored by them for over, oh, yeah, sure. I've been sponsored by them for over 31 years and, and absolutely love it. They're great, great people. And then I got to say hi to Mr. Bud Orr. Uh, he needs, hey, you don't have to say anything about Bud. You just mention a name, everybody goes, oh, Bud Orr, Bud Orr. You know, Bud might be joining us here tonight, too. Uh, Francis Swain, how you doing, buddy? Very, very good. And Kenny Stewart. Kenny Stewart, uh, he has the General Paintball Museum. Um, he's up in uh, Michigan right now. Great guy. Great museum. If you want to, his Tipman display, his rolling Tipman display he has is just incredible. Um, just a, a great, great guy. Um, and like I say, you know, you know, some of you guys want to jump on here after we get going. Uh, we'll probably let you jump on and, and uh, say hi to everybody. So anyhow, real quick. Uh, Mr. Tom K, Airgun Designs. Mr. Randy Camilla, he was the editor for APG for a lot of years. Uh, Mr. Jerry Braun, he was the editor for Paintball Sport Magazine. And now he has the field back there, um, actually run by uh, Kevin Donaldson. But it's Jerry's field and uh, everything's cool. It's just a great, great place to play. You know, uh, like I say, I absolutely love going to New York. And uh, I love the people there. They're just a terrific bunch, really are. And then Mr. Ross Alexander had Line SI. Um, I still got my first Bushmaster. He was my my first actual marker sponsor. So anyhow, um, he is a great guy. And uh, he lives in Colorado right now, too. I probably should have sent him an invite, but I didn't do it tonight. So then Jim Lively. Jim Lively, uh, you know, back in the day, like I say, two tournaments he wanted to do. Jim Lively's Masters, Jerry Brown's World Cup. And they were absolutely terrific. Stephen Snow, how you doing, buddy? I got to mention all these people. You know, you know, I'm going to have uh, uh, David Justin on tonight, too, also the Reaper, you know. And 
you guys, you know, one thing we can never stress enough is how much we appreciate you guys, you know, being our audience, uh, jumping in and, and, and just letting us know that, that people out there really care about what's going on in this sport. And it's just absolutely cool as heck. I, I love it. And then I, I say hello every week to Mr. Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong. You know, they're two of the Hermans. Um, the Hermans are uh, a very, very special young guns team. These kids, whew, they are good. I mean, I can't even emphasize how good they are. They just absolutely rock. And then last but definitely never least, uh, Gino from Belkin. Uh, Gino uh, does not, I mention him every week because he does so much for paintball that, you know, he'll never tell you what he does for paintball. And, and you know, I, I'm fortunate enough to kind of be in the inner circle a little bit. So I know what he does and it's just absolutely terrific. And I'm, uh, I'm just very happy to mention him every week. He's a terrific, terrific person. But now let me bring on my buddy over here. He looks too comfortable. I got to catch him before he goes oh, to sleep. Jim. Yeah. Oh, wake up, Bill. Wake up. Hey. Hey, everybody, Mr. William Bailey. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you doing, Fred? Well, I'm doing good, man. You, you see this guy I got over here, right? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 there's a wood carver in town here. And I told him, I says, you know, make something that looks just like Bill Bailey. And that's what he came up with. And I says, but the hair is too light. It's too you know? light. Other yeah. than that, I think he pretty much captured you. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty close. A different maybe, hat. Maybe the hat. That could be yeah. it. That could be yeah. it. You got to have goggles on. <laughs> so I see you've been working on your field. Yes. Uh, we've got all of our new storage containers set. So now we, all we got is cut holes in them and put doors and ladders and nothing to it, huh? Yeah, nothing to it. <laughs> I love it. Be done a couple days. There you go. Hey, Gumby's watching right now too. Gumby's <laughs> awesome. Yes, he is. So, what do you say we bring on some of these guys real quick, Bill? And uh, Heck yeah, kind of get in the Christmas spirit here a little bit. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to start here with uh, shootyousoon.com, Mr. David Reaper Justin. Kevin, no, I think it should be higher, Kevin. The uh, no, up here the. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> so oh, you got you got him to stand so still. That is so cool. How'd you do oh, that? Oh, look, Hypnotist? look, someone's trying to break in. Look. Oh, oh, uh, there you go. You got it under control. Fa la 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 la. I like hey, the hat. Too. Who, I like the hat. Who uh, who is a smart finally. who's a smart person that did uh, Hanukkah Sameach? I'm impressed. Who who did that? I did that Can because you know that's what? how you that's how you're supposed to really say it. Do you know what? I'm very impressed. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, Facebook user. Listen, I have a feeling I know why you have a bunch of Facebook users and not actual people. Because nobody wants to give me their name. Well, kind of, but. See, what you're doing is you're producing the show on your page, which is your uh, uh, flagpole page. Sure. And if people are not liking or connected to that page, they're just coming on as users. If you were producing this on your like your regular page, your Facebook page, then that would bring up all their names because those are your friends. Yeah. You know what? I can I can get on my phone and I can see their names on the phone. That's interesting. Bill, yeah. Bill kind of keeps an eye on that. Yeah. But yeah, I can't do it on... Very, very, like Kenny Stewart's name came up. Seth Howard's name came up. Yeah. Stephen, uh, Jamie like Conley. Jamie they, Conley. Maybe have all these people like your page or somehow connect to your page. So it won't just say Facebook yeah. user. But Well, I think what it is, I think what it is, David, is when they first check in, they have to, um, isn't it, Bill, they have to take and, and put something on that they're they're going to be on there or something like that? They got to do that. But David's right. If, if they would like they most likely haven't liked your, your page that you're running it from. So then it won't show since they don't know that you're friends with them. But if you, well, if you, did, if you did run it from your face, actual Facebook page and they're your friends, it'll actually show who they are. I thought, we says, talked, uh, I thought we talked about you taking David's side over me. <laughs> fuck no, you. I'm not. I'm just saying you're both right. <laughs> Merry Christmas and fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that, that money is going to my offshore account, isn't it, David? Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly right. No, listen, Connor said uh, you have to allow the stream yard to post your the name. Yes. That too, yeah. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. So you guys, listen, help a brother out and put your names up there so it just doesn't look like uh, Facebook users. 
Yeah, well, you're still pretty cool. You know, we got 27 people watching us already. It just started, so that's not bad. How about, how about we bring in a real important guy here? How about we bring in Mr. Bud Orr? Oh, no. Oh, look who. No, there goes the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at it. War, game, war game products. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. I got one there. right here behind my wooden bill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How happy you this evening, Merry bud. Merry Christmas to everyone and happy new year. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, we got a got a quite a few people watching already. This is pretty cool. Yeah, oh, and no, I never it's... posted I never posted anybody that was gonna be on tonight. All I said was that we were just gonna do a, a Christmas show, and that's just the way I left it. And uh we're getting all kinds of people jumping in here. Well, I couldn't find my hat, you know, to cover my head <laughs> and my beard. I mean, I lost it somewhere. I, uh, well, I put night, this on. I, I walked. I put this on. I walked in the other room. And sure, my wife goes, "Oh my God, you got hair!" And I go, "No, it's a hat, honey. It's a hat. Uh, take the hat off. There's still no hair under it." Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll show you my wig one of these days. Yeah, <laughs> I look like a rock star. Oh, oh an old rock star. I'll bet you do, man. Oh, oh someone, someone says I'll send you a hat, Mister Roar. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll, I'll be wait. I'll be waiting for it right away. <laughs> you, you can smile, David. Yeah. The, the He's gonna end up with like thirty hats. People are gonna start sending him hats. This is a practical joke. Yeah. And now, if if you send them hats, make sure that they're the hat with the hair already attached. Please. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Hey, I so want to wish. Hey, I want to wish everyone a, a seriously a, a, a happy New Year, a safe New Year, and a very Merry Christmas. You know, you guys are mean a lot to me, and this is my uh, my my paintball family. So yeah. hope everyone has a great Christmas. So love yeah, you all. That's, love you all. That's, that's what I put in my promo for this show, too, was just exactly that. And uh, I want to bring up a couple more guys real quick. Um, I just met this guy. Actually, David knows this guy. Who's that? Mr. Seth Mr. Howard. Um, oh, man. I just met this guy. Actually, David knows this guy. Who's that? Oh, Mr. Seth, Seth Howard. Um, You're making too much oh, noise. Yes, There's too much feedback. Guy, hey. Uh oh, I think we got some feedback here. Oh, dude. Can you That's hear that? Horrible. <laughs> Seth, <laughs> Seth I, think oh, we got, I, I think we got some feedback or a, a bit of a delay here. Whoa. I hear you. I wonder if it's feedback on my side. Uh oh. How's that? That better? Can you hear us, Seth? Uh oh, Seth, we can't hear you. No, he turned off his hit, mic. Oh, there he is. Yeah, hit mute to see if it was me or feedback. Uh oh, Seth, we can't hear you. Oh, you're, you're getting no, feedback off there, huh? Yeah, hit mute to see if it was me or feedback. Oh, now I'm getting double of you. That's amazing. Yeah, Seth, wait. Yeah, we're getting bad oh, feedback now with I'm you. Getting double of you. That's amazing. Seth, do you have headsets? Yeah, you have headsets. Um, uh, that's it. I'll go get a headset. I'll be back. Yeah, uh, listen, yeah, I think, uh, I think Radio Shack is still open. <laughs> what guns do we got up there? I see a lot of autocockers. Radio Shack is still open. Yeah, he's got a lot of autocockers up there. Bud Orr, what is that? Bud Orr. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, do, you, do, you, do you remember this picture? Who would do that? <laughs> Yeah, no, it was done. Yes, I, I almost took him up on it, but uh, I had, yeah, I had to did. drive home. Dude, listen, I tried to force it on you, and you said no. <laughs> hey, hey, let, let me tell you, bud. When when we were down at at Endgame two, he was down there trying to give it to kids. Everybody, Any, anybody, anybody that wanted a drink, he was, was holding it. it up, man. Anybody that came to the show, they get some, they get a shot. That's all, <laughs> and not not the vaccine. <laughs> oh no no! It was it was a good shot. I he tempted me real good, but uh, I, you know my willpower took over. So yeah, it's, it's, 
But right how on. was that? How was that event, bud? Did you enjoy Lynn's event? Pardon me? Did you enjoy Lynn's event? I enjoyed seeing you there. Did you enjoy being the? Oh the yeah, I had a shit. Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. There's so many neat people there. You know, that's one of the my uh, highlights of the year. I mean, I love going there and uh, spending time with all the guys. I didn't get far. I went like three booths, and that's it. You were, I mean, you were I, uh, swamped. Everybody, listen. You you were the you were the man of the hour there. Oh, I, I don't know about that. But, I do. Yeah. That's the same thing I heard. That's the same thing I heard. Although I think I heard it from David, but that's the same thing I heard. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, no, yeah. we can hear you perfect now. Awesome. Hey, when does your daughter need those headsets back? It's actually from my youngest son, who's seven. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> In your face, David. He's like, where's my Blimpy at? Where, where'd Blimpy go? <laughs> I love it. Cliff Meyer's watching right now, too, man. Hello, Cliff. Hey, Cliff had a picture of himself dressed as Santa Claus on the internet uh, the other day. Man, I got to tell you, did that guy look like Santa Claus or what? Oh, man, it was absolutely terrific. Great, great job. Cliff's uh, one of the guys that... Uh, he does an awful lot for paintball too. You know, he's like us. He's one of the older, older crew, but he's pretty darn cool. Absolutely. So, and I got Kiko over here. Before I get him off his guitar, I can pull him up here, but I can't pull him up with his guitar. Fine. Maybe off the guitar. There you go. Fine. Whatever. Wait, where's those All horns right. you promised you were going to wear? The back of the head. Where's those horns? You said you were going to nail those horns on your head. No, you, you tried to do it. He wanted. He thought it would be cool. I said, yeah, after I trying to drive him in with nails, it hurt. I said, I can't do it, Fred. I just can't do it. Yeah, but it would have been a good effect. You should have kept going. Are the Band-Aids holding, though? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. But the emergency bill in the ambulance ride, you got to pay for that. Yeah, but that was only across the street. That's not much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, you know, I had a dolly. I would have rolled I hope, there. everybody. <laughs> I got me a thing. <laughs> well, we're going to start real quick here, guys, with Seth Howard, because everybody knows the new guy on the block always has to tell us how he got started in paintball. So, Seth, you're up to bat, buddy. Let's hear it. We're waiting. All righty. So I started playing in 1986. I was 11 years old and I got a bit of a delay on my side. I'm not sure what's going on there, but. Oh, we can hear you perfect. I it's, called a, a it's, called a, it's called a Cafidero. <laughs> yeah, just, just keep going, Seth, you're good. Okay, so I, I started rinsing a, uh, PGP pistol from a local surplus store in San Luis Obispo. And a friend of mine and I both went out and played in the local riverbed with a bunch of adults that were there. And we were immediately hooked. I'd play a game. He'd play a game. We flip flop back and forth. And someone let me use like a, a Nelson uh, constant air setup with a longer barrel. So I was hooked and it was a blast. And I've been playing ever since. You did a stint, what, in the army? You were in That's the service correct, for yeah. a while, I right? did four years in the Army as an airborne ranger. Uh, jumped out of airplanes, served it over in Korea, had a blast over there, came on back to the 82nd Airborne, and uh, been playing nonstop. Fort Benning, Georgia. Very, very cool. Yeah, yeah this, you know, actually, I, I met Seth uh, down in uh, Endgame 2 when I was down there with David. David and Kiko and I were doing a show down there. Um and uh, Sorry. Seth came over and we put him on. It was pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. I'm, we're very glad that you came on tonight, too, buddy. Really am. Um, I'm sorry about the delay. but uh, <laughs> You know, I had him in the green room before the show and everything was perfect. I don't know what's going on. Uh, no worries. I, uh, I figured it gives me more uh, beef to talk about the government if I served in the armed forces. There you go. <laughs> hey, Rick Sandias is watching too. Everybody knows Rick Sandias. Uh, Rick's a great guy. Rick is a good friend, and um, I'm a little jealous. I love him so much. I hate him. Yeah, I, he he's the only guy. 
that's that's our age that can still run like a rabbit and play. I mean, this kid is never getting older. He's amazing. He's so a madman on the field. We're jealous. He is. He's a terrific player. Always was and still is. That's what's amazing. You know, what's funny is when, when I got back into this, I went and uh, I was uh, at the North-South game. And he comes out. He's got out there playing with white coveralls on. It was uh, there was the no, no, Rick was not hiding at all. Yeah, <laughs> not a bit. And he can still get out there and rock and roll. That's for sure. So, Bud, what's new in your world down there, buddy? Yeah. What's what? I said, what's new in your world down there? Because I know it was warm down there. You know, it was forty-seven you know, degrees up here today. Ooh. Well, it, it was like uh, 62 to high today. So, oh. you know, but it was, uh, it was nice, you know, just, um, you know, the weather's been pretty nice. It's going to rain uh, Thursday, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and uh, maybe Saturday. So, you know, we, we, uh, we need rain, though, man. We need all the wet we can do. So, yeah, you're, you're absolutely you right. Know. It just started raining here uh, a couple hours ago. And it's supposed to rain now. You know, we, we don't get any rain for months and months and months. Now it's going to rain for eight or nine straight days. Well, uh, hopefully you're not in the mountains where there's mud. So no, no. It'll be no, all I, mudded out. Yeah. Now, we went up uh, when I was driving up to uh, work on a field uh, the other day. Kiko and I were going up. You could see the, the mountains were all snow-capped. It was pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, they look sharp. So Jeff Thompson, uh, um, one of the Booney boys up in Canada, he just texted in, bud, and wants to know when you're uh, going to get busy working on the 40th anniversary auto cocker. Um, thinking about it, believe it or not, um, I think there's a there's a gentleman that I've been talking to that's on this show. I want one. But, uh, <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I've been I've been thinking I've been thinking about it, man. I, I you know it might be a little late, but uh, we might pull it off. So I'll, I'll keep the suspense up, but I, I wouldn't want to disappoint anybody. So there you go. Well, I got to tell you, if it comes out, they're going to be jumping off the shelf instantly. Well, and you I'd, take have to, I'd have to do. I'm placing my order right got, now, personally. You and Bill got to get one for sure. So. Oh, I love you, brother. Yeah, you look behind. You see. Whoa. You see. Whoa. Whoa. Damn it, Ray. Whoa. Up. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. Jesus. It was Razor. Oh, yeah. well, he just left. Old bastard. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to, oh, I wanted to show you. Second. I'll find you somewhere. I got to find you. No problem. Uh, when, you, when you come back on, I want you to see Seth has got some great cockers back behind him. Oh, and he's yeah. got a whole workbench full of stuff, too. He, he showed me earlier, but I guess he isn't going to show anybody else. So Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would be something else to do a, a 40th anniversary auto cocker. No, it would be, it would be good. I just got to find out how to get back on. <laughs> that that's a well, real where's Kathy? Me. get Kathy yeah, in I, there. I, I, yeah, I'll get I'll go get her. you know, she's uh Bud, uh, Bud, I, I think you have to uh yeah, I Bud, you. I think you have to Come do on. the I think it's the... Bud, I think it's two claps. <laughs> oh wait a minute, I got some <laughs> shit going here. Oh god, this is you know what? I'm the dumbest ass in the world with a computer. No, no, you are. A no, I could be your professor when it comes to that. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Believe oh, me. Oh, my God. Look at this crap. Oh. <laughs> Fill in for yeah. me, Justin. I might, get, yeah. I might be getting started. Here, let's get started. Go on here. No, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, I got to tell you, you'd be a hit in radio. Exactly. <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> The shadow. When he comes back on, Seth, you got to show him. Uh, the shadow, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get Kathy. I'll be right. Okay, I'll click, I'll click you off for a minute, bud. All right, bud will be back. You know that that happens to all of us sometimes. Okay, it doesn't happen to David, but David's a snob. But well, it happens to the rest it, of us. It, it's hard being me. Listen, Seth, have you ever met him? Have you ever met Bud Orr? I haven't had a chance to meet Bud yet, 
but uh, I'm hoping to head down with uh, Benji with Paintball DNA. Yeah. I'm trying to get down to Corona and meet him in person. Nice. Very, very cool. Yeah, he's a great guy. You're going to love him. He's uh, he, he's a great guy. That's about all I can say. Been a friend of, how long have you been a friend of ours, Bill? 30 some years, huh? Yeah, from the beginning, pretty much. Yeah, all, all the way from the very beginning. Matter of fact, there's pictures of him and I on stage. I didn't even recognize us. We look so young. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool, though. I liked it. What am I, yeah. chopped liver? No, it's no, you got balls, liver. too. I can I can see it on the side of your head. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this, yeah, men with balls. I love it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, Man, well, what or? I don't even know. God, that had to be what? 1870? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 19, 1978. Oh. Did something here. It's a... I think that was at the Amateur Open. Yeah. So this is about 1814? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, and there's another one. Yeah. Oh. You know, that might that might have been when we gave away... Um, uh, Chip Kurtz had that uh, gold gun, and uh, uh, it was, he, yeah, it was, yeah, and he had yeah. it forever. And every time that it, there was going to be a some kind of a tournament or something where we were going to be at, and he was going to give it up, something came up. So I think it finally went down at that tournament there, and yep. uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun. Oh, you got your kitty! How cool! Merry <laughs> cat. Christmas, what's up? Yeah, Kiko was going to go. Our neighbor down the street, Kiko, he, the guy lives between Kiko and I. Anyhow, he's got about, what, four million lights? Maybe more. Wow. Yeah, and Kiko was going to, oh, you have to see it. It's unreal. Yeah, you got to take, take a picture and take a picture and post it. It's, he, uh, makes, he, makes, he makes the whole neighborhood look bad. No, it's it's great when someone goes out of their way to do that kind of stuff. I think if it wasn't fantastic. raining out, I'd send Kiko out there right now because you know Kiko's I'm my uh, right my go-to man. It probably keeps Kiko awake at night. He probably thinks there's police in the neighborhood all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but stop using the blue and red lights for Christ's sake! I don't answer the door. Is, is it right. is it raining real hard, Kiko? You want to walk out there? I'll walk out there. Uh, you probably got to. I got to go onto my phone, then. So what do I have to do? Uh, let me Send you an invite to your up. phone? Yeah. Oh, right. Me, yeah, yeah dude. You should do remote. That would be fantastic. Yeah, so Let's do, do that. Oh, we can do that in a hot car Okay. <laughs> Come on. I'm just one person. Sure you are. With multiple it's, personalities. It, That's it's what too I bad about this. Um, <laughs> it's too bad about this Facebook user stuff. Look at this. It's a big deal around here. And we're even on a national TV show. We don't know who you're talking about. And we don't know where around here is. I, well, it, it's I, around here. We'll say that. Anyhow. Yeah, he makes I, I, he's a great guy. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly how we got started doing this. Um, he's a friend of mine. And uh, a few years ago, him and his daughter did this. Every every year they go ahead and they go put their her Christmas stuff out and it was a big thing and anyhow she was killed in an accident no and so yes and so every year Bob takes and uh, adds to it and adds to it and adds to it and then last year ah Jessica Schultz my daughter oh I can't believe you're watching your mom's going to be on in a little while I told her she had to come right, here Freddy, tonight. you got me in the box I got you in the box yep so uh I'm gonna go uh hold on Enter studio, it pushes the button. I gotta push my name. Come on. Oh, you're on the show. There, there's Kathy and Bud right on. Hey, uh, you Kathy, how are you? <laughs> I got I got my wife Sherry's gonna come on in a little while too. She'd love to say hi to you. All right, so wait a minute. Him? This must explain it. Look at Kathy is the light of his life. You see that? The, the light you know, of his life. See that? It's, uh... You know that's the problem. You know, all our all our ladies are so good looking that when we put them on, they really make us look bad. That's the only <laughs> bad part about it. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm back. Yes, Fred. yes, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Say hi. Hello. Uh, <laughs> how are you doing? He can't Kathy? get on without me. We know that. Yeah, I know that. 
When he clicked off, that's the first thing everybody started telling him, go get Kathy. Go get Kathy. Okay, we got Kiko down. I'm going to take Kiko off to one and put him on the other one. He's going to go out. This is our neighbor down the street. Um, You ain't going to believe this guy. We'll see where we're at, Kiko, man. Take that one off. Put this one on. Come on, Kiko. There you go. Okay. Here I is. Is it raining out? It's wet. It's moist. Holy Can you see God. that? Yeah. Hey, Mardi oh, Gras? What the hell? That is Come on, Beth. Are you walking up there, Kiko? Yeah. Yeah, don't get hit, man. Yeah, I got to tell you, there's about a gazillion cars that go up and down there all the time. Wow. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. Okay. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Kathy. <laughs> See, I got to spin this thing around. Oh, Hold man, on. check it out. They got a Grinch. I didn't know he had a Grinch. Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> we got Santa Claus. We got the, uh, oh, he's got so much stuff. He got a giant St. Bernard. He's got oh, penguins. Dude. Dude. Let me get around here. You have a bear? <laughs> he, he got a unicorn with the elf humping it. Uh, he got the lion from the Misfit Toys. Uh, he got Mickey Mouse. It, it's incredible. I'd say it's. I'm across uh, the street. Yeah, he's got stuff across the street too. But I'd say his setup is about what 100, 120 feet long. Wow, 150 feet. Yeah, like I said. I think this guy starts. To, he, I think he starts to set up on on the twenty sixth of, of December. That's how long it takes him to get going to do the. I mean, he must keep this stuff up all year. He, no, take a no long he doesn't time. keep it up. All, he doesn't keep it up all year. But they start in September putting it together. No. Yeah, because all the retaining walls that you see in the front, that is all done with tin foil. He spent him and his wife spent hours and hours and hours putting the tin foil on that. The cars just roll in continuously all and night. Then what happens? Then what happens is, uh, you know, Saturday is is Christmas, so Friday night. The fire department brings Santa Claus up there. No. Oh, it's unreal. Yeah, we don't go anywhere. We just stay at home because you cannot drive. You can't get out of your house. It's just jammed around here. Hey, is there a you, got as well? those, you got one of those nail aprons? Yeah. <laughs> Give it to Kiko and have him stand at the entrance and act like he's taking money. There you go. Uh, he wanted me to... Uh, wrap lights around me and pretend I was a tree. Hey, I told you not to tell everybody that. It was just a thought I had. <laughs> we got the, the manger here with baby Jesus getting all his gold and frankincense. What, what does he have to do with Christmas? <laughs> For real? Come on. <laughs> That's God's what? son. Who? What? Are you walking up in there? I don't see Bob or the missus. Yeah, they'll probably but this, put your mask on. This is where uh, Santa Claus is. Comes right here. Yeah, he'll be there uh, tomorrow night and uh, Friday night for sure. They were going to let Fred ride in there, but he didn't pass the uh, security. Anybody but Fred. Good looking. But uh, this is quite the spread. The people come in. He's got off-street parking across, across the way. The street. That's across the street. With uh, some uh, outhouses there. Parking. Uh, like I said, Santa Claus, choo-choo trains, Snoopy, uh, a carousel, a uh, giant bear, a giant pig. Way wait, cool wait, stuff. Wait, 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 wait. What'd you call Fred? <laughs> You're the funny guy. I got you on the list, Justin or okay. David, whatever your name is. Two I first like, names. I like uh, I like coal. That'll be good for me in my stockings. Yeah, thank you. All right. So uh, look, he's got the elf up there. You see him? Yeah. The elf. The elf, dude. 
Yeah, it's a little bit of, a little bit rainy up here, but I'm yeah, bringing it to you because Fred back watered inside. it. Better get back inside, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm powerful it. wet. It's the cold and flu season. Do yeah. me a favor. If you're there wet, can you grab some of those electricity lines and let's see what happens? Ah! <laughs> I'm okay. I'm going to stumble back across the street home. I hope I don't get run over. Merry Christmas and happy Merry Kwanzaa. Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. That was Kiko, the remote man. Or is this just a remote guy, I guess? I don't know. Hey, bud, I see somebody <laughs> sent you a hat already, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, Seth. <laughs> Seth, yes, Seth, yeah, Seth has never got to meet you, bud. Uh, Seth is a big autococker guy, as you can see behind him. Oh, so yeah. Seth, looks great, man. You're awesome. Seth, that's Bud Orr. Bud Orr, that's Seth. Oh, look at that. Oh, my what God. What in the that, heck? That is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You're awesome, well, dude. You're fun. awesome. That's cool. And, David, all you drink out of is a shoe. That's something, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, Bud, the uh, very first gun, very first Go ahead, uh, Seth. products I got was this Sniper 2 back in uh, 1993. It's probably got 10,000 eliminations on it. I've rebuilt it three times. It's just one of my sweetest shooting markers. Well, that's awesome, man. I appreciate that. That's, uh, that's cool. Uh, You're the man. 1993. See, Bud, see, look at the impact that you've made on people. Well, now you, you, that was just yesterday. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I, I should have said it that way. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's beautiful. Right on. That is. That is, that is awesome, man. I, I, I know oh, David yeah. wants me to show this. Oh, yeah. Very oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that yeah. the one from 93? It is, yeah. It is? I didn't have the uh, money when I was in the Army to send it off and get it milled, but... I had a drill press. Wow, look at that. Yes, it is. You are you ought to go into bit. That's awesome, man. That looks good, pal. It really does. That is great. This is a low yeah. press chamber that extends all the way to right here. The the low impact pop on the ball is awesome. Nice and accurate. Yeah, okay. when you're in the service, all you gotta do is ask me and it gave you one. You're my you're, I didn't know that service did. men are always top of the line, man. Top of the line. That and police officers. And there fire. you go. There you go. There right you go. on. So, Bud, I've got the almost guys we one need. of every single War Games products, uh, weapons that you've made. I'm missing about three or four. Those are kind of like the unicorns for me, but I'm going to have them all soon. Wow. Dude. Well, that, you email me what, uh, what you need. I might have one. You never know. Awesome. Wow. Dude, well, but that's I hope to come down there at some point with uh, Benji at Paintball b &A and also uh, Bocce, Bocce Paintball. All right. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, maybe George, can, maybe George Contreras just you, checked in. Maybe you can say hi to in George. the stomach with some of his original paint, Seth. <laughs> we can make sure we get you one of the wow. from our, uh, our team patch. Yeah, very cool. That yeah. is hey, cool, man. I'm down. I, I see you took a picture with the Grinch, bud. Who is that? Yeah, look at that. Who, but who, but, but, or who is that? Well, I gotta, I gotta that, tell you, David. Even, that's even, a guy, even, even, bud made you look me, good. That's a, yeah, he looks good. Well, I see him in person. He's a stud, dude. Is that the guy <laughs> you're trying to get you drunk? Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, he was. Uh, he had that gleam in his eye. He's going to drive me. Out. You know, no, nah, he's yeah. cool, dude. He you got cool. to be careful with that gleam in his eye. Well, thank you. Very oh much. yeah, <laughs> I gotta tell you, a lot of it doesn't have to do with booze. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, you're so funny. I thought you'd oh, like that. Yeah. I hope you're writing it down, David, because I know you're a, you're a stand-up comedian. I'm writing and it when down. When I do these shows and I have you on, I try to help you. I like I see you writing stuff down. I'm, I'm so. writing them down. Hey, Bud, Bud, can I can I use that picture in my stand-up my stand-up act? Just that yeah. picture of you. Yeah, I can use that. 
Yeah. Okay, good. All right. All right. <laughs> Kiko, you're drying off, buddy? Oh, yeah. It's wet out there. Cold yeah, hey, here. thanks a lot for going out there and showing it. You know, it, that was cool, but it's really, really hard to get an actual, unless you're standing in front of it, you still can't believe what it is. Yeah. It's just absolutely incredible. A lot of lights. I got a tan. Unbelievable. You got a tan? My face yeah. is sunburned. <laughs> Hey, yeah. hey, Brian. Made of Bryant, the Big Island in Australia. What up, bro? The Big yeah. Island. Oh my God. The we Big Island in Australia. Earlier. That's right. That's right. Hey, Tim, Tim said he wanted to wish everybody a happy holidays in case he didn't get to get on. He was he had to go to a soccer game, but he said he was going to try and get on near the end. Oh, did he? Okay, yeah, you still got about eighteen minutes yet. Yep. Nighttime soccer so, game. Yeah. So, David, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? Obviously, you're uh, you're Jewish. So, uh, what are you gonna wait, do? Wait, wait, wait. Obviously, I'm Jewish because I wear a kilt. You saw underneath it. What are you talking about? No, you what told me hell? you wore. Oh, oh, I told yeah. you. Yeah, oh, you, you know, it. I see nothing under your kilt. They call you nun hung low. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, Larry. All right. Oh, anyway. me up. Uh, listen, um, we are going to uh, celebrate the uh, the birth of uh, Jesus, our gardener. Um, I'm not, uh, uh, no, uh, we're going to be celebrating uh, this. What is it? What's his name? Oh, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So, yeah, um, this Best weekend, we're going to all go up to San Francisco, actually, ice skating, the whole thing. It's going to be fantastic. Taking my wife and daughter and everybody. It's going to be great. Oh, very cool. You know, you got to watch how you say that because you can get struck down, man. You know, bolt of lightning come right through your uh, your green screen, right through the fireplace. And, oh, you'd be gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jessica. Jessica wants me to do my Brit Mila jokes, my my brist jokes. You want me to do? Uh, you know, you know why they they always say that uh, Jewish guys are cheap. You know that, but it's not our fault because when we're eight days old, we get ten percent off. See? Oh, off. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, and the and and the rabbi told my wife, "Hey, don't worry, this won't be long." Uh, see? We won't be. See? We won't yeah, be. Well, that, you know, that's the problem. Oh, you no, guys no, are no, taking no. all our money. You know, we're so poor we can't even pay attention. Oh, that's very funny. Yes, yes. Yeah. You've got a, yeah. You got to. Um, I, I can give you the secret handshake. You know, because we control the banks. So, you, uh, you can just. Uh, I'll that's give nice. you the secret handshake. You can go to Wells Fargo on Thursdays and do the special handshake. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's how it works. Oh, I got it. Uh yes, exactly. So, uh, yeah, come on over to the bright side. I mean, so, I mean, you can. Uh, that's all. I oh, make yeah, Christmas yeah, tournament. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were going to tell us a joke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you're killing me. Say it right. in Yiddish, it'll be funnier. A oh. uh, joke. It's very funny. Yeah. Anyway, everybody, this is my wife, Sharon. Hi, I Sharon. Got her in her Santa Claus suit here hey. with her sweatshirt underneath, looking cool. <laughs> Kathy was just on too. You missed her. Oh. Yep. Tell Hi, Tweety. Hi. I know. Hey, Kiko. I know somebody that used to make uh, Christmas tree ornaments. Made a lot of money out of it. Hey, oh. you, you should see what his his girl Becky just made this for me. Check it out. Oh. Kiko, hold it in front of the screen. There you go. Oh, very Thank cool. You. I got one for you too, Sharon. This was a this was a small you. company that was this was a small company that was started in Florida called Little Buddy's Christmas Ornaments. Oh. This one here, I'll have Fred autograph it and we'll sell it. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Someone says hi, Sharon. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, I want Merry Christmas. A Facebook <laughs> user. We don't know who it is. <laughs> Oh, Merry Christmas to you guys. Oh, my <laughs> All of you. Uh, you got to love it. You know, um, I talked to Bud. Bud and I, uh, Bud was on a show a couple of weeks ago, and we had the guys, the Filipino uh, Worldwide Group, um, and we've been trying to help them, you know, work on their group and put it together. And Ferdy, one of the guys that was on the show, he's over in the Philippines right now. And uh, I talked to him earlier today, and uh, he says, uh, first of all, they were they just were blown away when you came on the show bud no. they just uh, they could not believe that you were on there and they are still talking about it and today he told me he goes he goes if you see bud again 
please tell him how grateful we were that he came on the show and talked to us. We thought that was so cool. So I told well, you. I, no, it, 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 there, there, you know, I don't know how to say it, but every Filipino guy that I know, and I worked in this show with quite a few, and uh, they're just so happy. Damn. I mean, they're happy all the time. I mean, yep. you could you could blow their arm off. They'd be happy, you know. It's just <laughs> like a, a great bunch of people, man. I mean, I mean, I they just are. love them all. I mean, yep. they're just the wives are great, and um, I mean, it's it's part of a good family, you know. Yeah, they and are I'm, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm glad I'm part of that. So, yeah. you know, you know yeah, I can't and say you know, enough. yeah, David's been happy ever since he got that that. Uh, new sponsor which which sponsor is this which of my 501 sponsors which one is it yeah, yeah i know it but you can't count the other 500 that's your relatives i'm oh. talking about the one oh, it's, again with the jewish jokes again with the jewish jokes hey listen one of your facebook users said i'm cool but you you need to light i need to get lit up and there you go i just lit up there you go see that oh. Oh, how special. Yeah, Reaper is cool, but you got to light him up. Well, I think that, I don't know if he's talking about that or just uh, shooting me with paint. I have no idea. But... I, I, I knew exactly what he was talking about, but it's a family show. There we go. So, so I'm being yeah. lit up. You look like an elf. What? <laughs> he said you, you look like an elf. You, me? You look like the elf on the shelf. My God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. You guys, oh, like man. <laughs> uh, you guys yeah. are killing me. This is it. <laughs> This is a big falling out right now. Oh, oh my God. Um, listen, uh, this guy doesn't work well with others. <laughs> He's Jewish. Oh, man. Yes, what are you going to do? Exactly. And look, look, this is, typical of, this is typical of the whole world. Look, we're the minority. See that? I have one square and look at all the other Christians here. Look at this. What the hell? It's always the same thing. I, I know, but who's got all the money? Well, there you go. Well, Listen, yeah, there you go. Hey, bring in, hey, bring in Dan Colby. He's Jewish, right? And uh, you can Benji. Benji's Jewish, and ba Bachi. He's Jewish. Come on, what? And Gary Bob. He's Jewish. Come on, you Gary got more Dan, spaces. Dan Colby's Jewish. Yes, he is. Is he really? Yeah, he's not yeah. hiding it. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I could call him right now, but we'd probably wake him up. No, no, we we both we, we, every day we get the we get we get the updated email about the secret handshake, him and I. So. Oh, do you? Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, do you guys use your hands for that or? Ah, uh, this is funny. Yeah, I'm funny. just asking a question, you know. Uh, you know yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to improve myself. So listen, I listen. I want to tell questions. you something. If it wasn't for the Jews, we wouldn't have commercial Christmas. We created about fifty percent <laughs> of the songs that are out there. We created the the whole concept behind the uh, the the postcard. I mean, what is the Christmas cards? This Madison Avenue whole thing. Come on, this is like this 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 commercial part of Christmas. Not, the part. Jesus. not so, the so, Jesus part. You guys did that stuff. But so I'm basically, about the, you guys. So you guys made that song with Elvin and the Chipmunks. Well, probably. I mean, if we didn't produce <laughs> yeah. it or write it or something like that. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yeah. Well, you go. did that. So you got to see. Yeah, you should be thanking us for this whole thing. Jesus Christ! Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, Steve, thank you very much for saying that. Yeah. I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> right, <laughs> right on, brother. Right on. Right there you on. go. But, but poor but Seth is over here going, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Again, political. But but you didn't give us 50% off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's they consider, they consider us 50% off. <laughs> Listen to Jessica, are you sure? Are you crazy? <laughs> Listen, are you sure? Hey, are you sure your daughter's not Jewish? She's talking about bris. She's talking about shekels. No, no. Early, earlier I told her, I said, you know, David's going to be on tonight. I said, say something nice to him. I says, because nobody else will. <laughs> I, Jeff Thompson. There's a, Jeff, look at Jeff Thompson trying to do Canadian jokes. Come on. It's not working. Reaper. <laughs> they, no, they don't work. They don't work. Canadian jokes do not work. Hey, they don't work. Okay, they don't work, eh? All right. No. Canadians are no. confused. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you're yeah. you're waiting you're waiting for the punchline. Exactly. <laughs> waiting a long time. They, I, I do that every time I talk to David. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Where's Steve McGuire? There you go. <laughs> Throw me a softball. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, oh. Okay. Exactly. No, but listen, Fred. 
Um, I just want to uh, wish everybody a uh, happy Kwanzaa. I'm reading your thing here. Hag Sameach. Uh, Merry Christmas. Las Posos. What's Las Posos? Um, that, that's Las Posos. And then also, uh, how about this? Uh, you guys forgot about Festivus, the, the, the Seinfeld one. So Festivus is the holiday for the rest of us. Do you know about that? No, no. I was out. I was out watching the submarine races when that happened. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Now you're really Happy dating not. yourself. Come on! It went, it went <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. But, I, uh, it, no. I just don't acknowledge the sick ones. Hey, wait. Hey, weren't you supposed to be giving away stuff right now? I am. Okay. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it away to her. Give it to Kathy Alvarez. She here. likes winning give stuff. It away, give Kathy Alvarez is, is a, She loves winning stuff. What, who does what? Kathy Alvarez likes to win stuff. Give stuff to her. Oh, I will. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Kathy's a sweetheart. You know her? I know her. Yes. I know her. Uh, through, um, through like, I won't like hold that you. against her. I'm not going to hold that against yeah. her. Yeah. Hey, he, here's, here's somebody you guys might know. Um, Mr. Tim Schloss. What's going on, Tim? I'm driving back from a soccer game. Oh, are you? Did you win? Uh, my grandkid did. Oh, yeah, I bet you were out there playing too, huh? No, hell no. I'm sitting there on the side just uh, watching the watching the action. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> we got right a pretty good one tonight. We got we got Keek Long, we got Bill, we got, Bud Orr, we, we got David Justin, and we've got Seth Howard on tonight. Pretty good group. Well, tell everybody Merry Christmas for me and Merry Christmas, also. Merry Christmas, and your family, Melissa. Next year, we have this past year. Yeah, Sherry, Sherry, I got her on the show. Hey, and Andy Stretz watching. What's going on, Andy? Andy from the Ellie Remember Foundation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say hi to Andy for me. Say hi to your beautiful wife for me. Yeah, she, I, you know, I got her on for the first time. She's sitting right alongside me right now. Oh. Well, I can't see because I'm in the car, but you tell her I give her a big hug when the show's over. Well, just close your eyes and visualize it. Yeah. No, no, don't do that. No. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's an open-ended deal there, pal. <laughs> right on, brother. <laughs> That's, that's, that's good. But, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you here in the next month or so. I guess we'll be out here the first part of uh, first part of February playing at your place. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we were talking about your field. Uh, Bill Bill says that uh, you got a couple of new ones now. And I said, that's just what he needs. What do you got on that property? About 400 good fields? Uh, we're up to about 15 now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Bill's coming up tomorrow. Is he? Yeah, All right. Yeah, he was here. What's he today? Yeah, he was here yesterday, and uh, we got we got it all roped off and set flag stations, and then uh, so then tomorrow I don't know what we're gonna do. But there's plenty to do on it, though. Right on. It looks uh, it looks really good. You'll be happy with it. But anyway, listen, I'll let you get back to the show, and uh, I don't want to crash the car, so yeah. just uh, <laughs> say hi to everybody, and like I said, Merry Christmas. And, Thanks for everything you're doing for paintball, man. It's uh, it, you made it fun again. Oh, I appreciate yeah, that, Tim. Oh, Thank nice. you. Well, yeah. no, it, uh, you've uh, you've uh, breathed a whole new life into this thing, and it's it's. I just hope everybody's enjoying the uh, second time around as much as I am. Right on, brother. Well, I love you, man. Oh, uh, we love you guys, and thanks. Talk to you all soon. All right, stay safe. Stay high to Terry. We all love you, Timmy. You. Bye -bye. Okay, bye bye. All right, everybody. It was Mr. Yeah. Tim Schloss. Uh, had tiger stripe camel back in the day um very good person very good friend uh, i can't ever say enough about the guy he's just terrific um second chance second chance yeah that's, that's what this right. is you one know, more um, second chance go for you know, broke. Like, you know like i said in, in the thing that i put out my post i put out you know it, christmas is a time for your family your friends and your extended paintball family you know because uh we all we all intertwine somehow and, and we all actually mean a lot to each other and we all work very hard for the sport and when we all work together like this we just kick butt man you'll make me cry fred yeah that's glad that was the onion sandwich you just ate i'm sure so, he, he does that you know david you look stunned you okay 
Uh, I got a couple things going on. First, I sent you a oh. picture that um, that somebody sent me, and I thought, yeah. well, that elf looks like fantastic, but everybody's saying there's something wrong, <clears throat> and because he wears mittens, I'm like, <laughs> like yeah. Did you see? I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good picture I seen that earlier. I thought that was your new profile picture. Well it, well, it was it was at one time, and then people got crazy, and I'm like, wait a minute, it's just an elf with a with a present. What the hell? Anyway, yeah, yeah. it have to be a present. On the show. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Jessica Schultz, show. I got a lot of grievances with you people. But I don't know what you're talking. Who's she talking about? He's talking she about put, the Seinfeld episode. Oh, is she? Oh, yeah. She took it. She put a picture of herself out there when she was what two years old or something like that. Yeah. And, and I, I had to post. That was a million dollars ago, because that's what it cost to raise that kid. Wow. Very oh, expensive wow. child, right? Yes. Yeah. But well, when are you coming up north? Hopefully, couldn't get babysitters. Yeah. yeah. Coming up soon. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> soon. Oh, yeah. What we're doing wrong. Well, no, I'll be up there. I'll be up there in January for sure. But uh, I'm thinking about driving up uh, earlier. So um, yeah, that's a long, that's weekend. a long drive. Yeah, it's a long drive. We're going know, to, uh, I'll ride it, but it took longer. I'll bring my wife with me, and we have a good time driving. So oh, cool. You know, I always yeah, got Keith and I are going to. We've been working on it on Fridays. Obviously, we're not going to work this Friday. But then the following Friday, I'm going to take my tractor up there, and we're going to. Do some fine tuning, but it's a uh, it's a pretty good field, huh, Kiko? I put my soul into it. We're gonna put that. No, ball you, I, I, uh, I, 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 I want him to put his back into it. I've been doing all the oh. lifting, but he put his soul into it. That's good enough. Oh yeah, you like that one too, huh, Dave? I seen you shake your head. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's because yeah, we both have the same sense of humor, Fred. Fred. You're just Hit amazing. Him. I cut uh -oh. off my finger. You know, because everybody my... tells me my sense of humor is warped. <laughs> work. <laughs> I'm on a work detail. Bro, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. That's going to be cool. It so. is. You know, you know what's going to be cool is, is all the band coming out, bud, and hanging out. You know what? Oh, we no. The that's, band, that's, yeah. It's going to be awesome. Definitely going to be memories. That's definitely awesome. You and, know. you know, Th no. Thomas Gee, um, Thomas Gee's fiance, uh, Ellen. Yes, Ellen. Ellen uh, just texted Sherry today, and I guess they're getting married in June, June eighteenth. Yeah. What? I'm not supposed to tell nobody. I don't know. I take that back then. No. That's what she told <laughs> yeah, they're uh, everybody. Thomas Gee, he's a band member, and he worked yes. for Tipman for years, and a heck of a nice guy. And his fiance is just top notch, and uh, they are uh, going to get married on June eighteenth. So we are very, very happy for them. Oh but, yeah. But, Yes. Yep. What do you Definitely. like the Zohan built, Bailey? I'm the Zohan. Dang right. I use my feet. <laughs> <laughs> that's, be, that's because Becky and Whoopi, you walk in the house with dirty feet. That's why. Yeah. I, got, I, I leave my roof off. Don't kill me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What you know, know, Seth, yeah. people don't court, People ahead, don't know it, but I can marry him. Oh, can you really? I'm, I'm one of those. Oh, yeah, I'm a mean minister. You can, I, I don't you act it once in a while, while but um, I am. You know, for once sure. in a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, but my language sometimes doesn't uh, really constitute a minister, you know, but. Um, Oh, and, okay. and your your actions show it though. Your actions show it, bud. No problem. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. God, I hope so. I married a couple of people. You know, it, it's not your traditional marriage, though. You know, it's oh, it's not. Yeah. Um, oh, it, is that that handshake one? <laughs> is that that handshake one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, they I'll call you, okay. first. David, I'll, yeah, I'll call you later, David, and explain that. <laughs> uh, no, uh -oh. it's it. Go ahead. Just, just go. We, just, we just lost Dave. See? I think Dave's he's not here, here man. <laughs> poor, poor Seth is up here going, oh my gosh, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah he's, he's been yeah. waiting to meet you, bud. Yeah, Seth is a, Seth is a pretty good guy. And uh, I finally got to meet him when Kiko and I went down to Endgame. 
uh, down to San Luis Obispo a couple of weeks ago, and it was pretty cool. We um, just got and, back. Uh, yeah, yeah, we just got back. It was a long ride. Kiko was giving me directions, so we've been roaming around the bat for a couple of weeks. Go that way. Yeah. yeah, go that. Take a right. Take a right. Yeah. Uh, but anyhow, yes, when we were down there, um, you know, I asked Seth if he'd ever met me. He said he never had the great opportunity to do so. So I wanted him on the show tonight so he could meet you. The real guy that really made that autococker. Well, no, I'm almost I'm, in person. I'm, you you guys make me speechless sometimes. I swear to God, I don't. Want... <laughs> well, you won't blow your horn and we'll do it for you. You know that. <laughs> I don't picture myself as that. I never have. So I do. I, I do. did. I did. I just love people, man. I mean, I just love people. I mean, uh, they're just they're the height the height of my life, you know. So there you go. But you know, that's like I said in the post I put out, Bud. You know, um, the people I was going to have on tonight worked very, very hard at the beginning of the paintball, and still are working hard for the sport. And and you're one of them. Well, you, know, you worked your butt at the beginning and still are. Well, I, I yeah, and all the people tonight, I you know, I, my hats off to them, man. I mean, uh, they know where it needs to go and how to get it there, and um, and that's what's important about life, you know. I mean, in about our sport, I mean, if if we know the focus and we can focus on where to go, then we're going to get there. You know, but it's going to take all of us to get it there. So that's what I that's what I keep my, preaching. My, yeah, my hats off to you all. You love you. You know. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I'll take it. Yeah. Bring it in the positive. Negative, there you go. Get away. Positive. Positive. Positive that's all the way, thing. brother. Positive all the way. <laughs> that's Mister Positive well, up there. Yeah. yeah. Well, Bud, I'm going to let you say uh, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. And I know that everybody watching is a, a Bud Orr fan because, you know, it's it'd be hard not to be a Bud Orr fan. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody, pal. Well, I, it's been a pleasure. And tonight's been awesome. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and have a safe life and uh, have a safe New Year and Christmas. So and I love you all. You know, my family, you're my family. You know, right on, brother. Or not, you're my family. So, real, take real care quick. and uh, see you soon. Love you. Real quick, bud, you remember Bye. Francis Swain Bye. from uh, the Hellhounds? Do what? Yeah, so you remember Francis Swain? He was one of the Hellhounds. Oh, yeah. 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 He's watching right now. Hi, Francis. Take care, man. He said, Love All ya. you guys, he said, All you guys got us this far. It's our turn to take it farther. Good way to no put kidding. it, huh? Yeah. Great way. Great way to put it. So Absolutely. But thank you so much for being on tonight, my friend. All right. Love you. Take care, man. Love you too, pal. Yeah, Stay God. safe. But or. Mr. Yes. But or. Nice. Yeah, that was Mr. But or and uh Francis Swain. You're cool, buddy. You're you're the man. Francis is going to be, he's one of the up and coming stars in paintball. Take my word for it. And you guys will see as time goes on. He's a, a great, great guy. Seth, I'm sorry you didn't get a chance to talk much tonight, but you know, once we get going, it kind of, it just rolls sometimes. I don't know what the hell to say. It spirals out of control. I get it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> but, I, you know, at least you got to meet Bud Orr tonight. Bud Orr got to meet you. You know, uh, go ahead and, and hit him up on Facebook. He's one of the nicest people you'll ever want to meet. Yeah, he we will exchange uh, a couple of messages back and house, forth before. Stuff like that. Oh, did I you? wanted to say something to you and David and Bud. Um, go ahead. Whichever way you're going, you're passing through my neck of the woods. Go free to one more, one more time. I'll be more than happy one more, to yeah, what? try to barbecue for you guys on my porch. Come in. I meet my family. I meet your family. I just have a nice little barbecue. Tri-tip is a Central Coast barbecue thing. That's what we do. Oh, I would absolutely love that. That would be so cool. Uh, Can I come to? You know, re oh, yeah. re real quick, Seth has actually followed me since when? When did you start following me? I started playing in uh, 1986. So whenever you were on the covers, when I first saw you oh, in APG. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that that was probably then. And when we were when Kiko and I were down at the San Luis Obispo, 
Um, that's one thing that somebody came up and told me that too. That's why I had to bring it up tonight. I thought that was so very cool. I feel sorry you. for you. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm afflicted with going. Fredism too myself. <laughs> I had to move next to him, Seth, work with them. <laughs> Seth, thank you so much for being on tonight. And, uh, I, you know, we'll have you back on again. Um, Talk to you guys yep. soon. You stay safe, all right? You as well. And See you guys. Stay in touch, my friend. All right. All right, everybody. That was Mr. Seth Howard. What a great, great guy. Yeah. yeah. Nick, I told you, I told you, I told you you could be on, but you could only talk with your hands. You know, and, and you're talking with your mouth. Yeah, it's told only with your hands. There you go. Oh, what did you just say to me? What that was short. What did you just say to me? Oh. oh no, that's shorthand. That's longhand. You don't know the difference. <laughs> I'm gonna say good night to everybody. Pico. All right. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy. Mrs. Pico, man. Merry Christmas. Oh, Becky has you sit there. Uh, Go ahead. You froze. The good stuff. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, Fred said it earlier about the people. The second chance. <laughs> I'm living proof. Uh, it's a tough time for some people who lost a lot of people this year. Uh, missing their loved ones who can't make it. So uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you again, Fred, Sharon, Bill Bailey. Uh, what has in store for 2022 for Fred? Just watch, right? Pow, the there field, you go, kick off. on the field, putting a lot of time in that. We're going to set that bar so high, it'll be a precedence for there the WCPL. Uh, bring it on. If you got the game and you got the skill, come on out. Check it out, okay? The icons of the game. Living proof, the icons. Right on, buddy. I don't know what's happening, but yeah, cue the danger music. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take it easy, Kiko. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody, I was Mr. Keith Kissel. Hey, I want, I want to real quick, I want to say good night. Uh, uh, Rick Sandias just said uh, good night to Fred and Sharon. And uh, oh, I talked about you. Rick. Yeah, Rick's a great guy. I talked about Rick earlier. Um, Boy, if you ever want a, a, a kick-butt player, Rick Sandias is a kick-butt player. Accurate, fast, and uh, very intelligent. So, not a bad show, Billy. It was interesting. <laughs> it's always interesting. <laughs> yeah, uh, we throw my buddy Kiko on, you know, it's uh, it gets more interesting. I love it. I like the, the last five minutes of David. It was just his picture, you know. And he's sitting there looking, and then and then he went off screen. It's like, oh, there you yeah. Go. I don't, I don't know, what, I don't know what happened. His wife probably cut him off. I don't know. Hey, Jeff yeah. Thompson, Merry Christmas to you, buddy. And Chico Strata, you know you're cool as hell. I love it. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Billy. You want to say anything to anybody? Uh, everybody have a safe and happy holidays um, enjoy the family be careful have fun you know, keep it simple holidays. you're going you're going to tim's tomorrow huh yeah yeah we, we've got to mark out some of the areas where we're going to put new bunkers and uh do a little bit of work on the second field and then uh pick up us we you got a skid of stuff we're just going to go through it and see what it is <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah, you know, Kiko and I, I, I was going to rope off the field, but Kiko and I are going to do that probably uh, maybe the week beforehand because I don't want people going out and playing it, you know, oh, yeah. and, and getting used to it before the, the actual time. So yeah. Kiko and I will probably mark it out the week beforehand. But we're going to take this Friday off, but next Friday we're going to be back up on, on it again. So yeah. that's a great paintball field. Oh, I can't wait for you to see it. It's I mean, we got the woods ball thing, but he's got so many things out there. It's just, uh, yeah, it's cool as hell. It really is. And, and you know, James and they, he, James has been helping us. He's one of the owners up there, and uh, he's been uh, coming out and helping us. He's a uh, James Stratton's his name. He's just a great, great guy. So yeah, we on some of that natural terrain there, we we've been able to pull off, you know, almost a an exact rectangle. So it's the field's about. 200 feet wide and then 300 feet long 
for wow. I mean, there's no dog legs in it. There's no way anybody can shoot across bounds. It's just a it's a awesome rectangle. And it's Perfect. got high spots, low spots, trenches, mounds, woods. It's it's gonna be a, a great field. Very you know, cool. What do you yeah. think of Seth Howard tonight? He's a pretty cool guy, huh? Cool. Yeah. I wish I wish his reception was just a little better, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah. but you know, I'm gonna... time, he's got got her, uh, several nice pumps, you know. Those cockers. Oh, you off. should, Bill. You should see. It. He he showed me when we were in the green room ahead of time. He showed me his workbench. It looks like your stuff, <laughs> just piled with stuff, yeah. man. I was yeah. so jealous. I was drooling. I had to go wipe my chin off. <laughs> I've got... It was so cool. It looks like it's exploded here. I've just, I ever since, you know, the museum, I haven't got it packed up, but now I've got a, a place that, you know, I've got a storage unit now, a storage container, you know, one of those 40 footers. So I'm going to yeah. actually get it all and put it in there. So it's not clogging up our pole barn and everything else. So, well, yeah, just, you should start collecting some markers, you know what? I might collect some markers someday. Yeah, it would be interesting. You'd, I think you'd have fun if you did it. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe getting into some like some Sheridans and maybe some yeah. double sevens and you know, maybe some you know brass eagle products and spiders. I love that green screen behind you with all the markers. That's pretty yeah. cool. Someday I'll get a real I'll get I'll I'll get some markers, but I don't have to use the picture, you know, from the green screen. But right on, Billy. Might might get a couple hundred auto cockers or something, you know. Just want to break another, it off. You meant another couple hundred. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't hit the wall yet. Yeah. Right on, Billy. Will you take and uh, have a good evening? Tell Susan yeah. we said hi. Yeah. Yep, so will do. Fun. You guys have a great holiday. Uh, yes. Enjoy your California weather. Shit. It's raining. <laughs> we got water. Dude, yeah, yeah, we're, we're not used <laughs> to this. I like it when Bud's like, oh, I had to get a jacket. It's 71 degrees. Hey, let, let me tell you, it gets down in the 60s. I'm with a sweatshirt and a jacket. No. Yeah. Oh, Dude, yeah. This... Out here, we walk around in a T-shirt in 50 degrees, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to when I was a snowman, too, but not anymore. It's no. the humidity. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, Billy, you have a good evening, buddy. All right, we'll see you guys. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, everybody, that was Mr. William Bailey and George Contreras. George, you're a terrific person. Um, George watches us all the time. Uh, can't say enough about the guy. I, I can't say enough about my listeners. You know, you guys just uh, mean absolutely everything to me. The Without an audience, you know, it just it, it's just us out here talking, you know. And, you know, all these guys that were on here tonight, you really make them feel like something when you take and you come on and you watch a little bit and you, and you make some comments and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I just can't, can't thank you enough. That's for sure. Isn't that right, sweetie? Yeah, that's right. It is. Yes, that's it is. right. Yes. This is my girl right here. This is, <laughs> this is my Christmas present for a lot of years and hopefully my Christmas present for very, very many more. Yes, absolutely. So, all right, everybody. Well, I appreciate so much you watching tonight, uh, the Christmas show. I wish everybody a very safe and happy Christmas. Um, and I will have a New Year's show. Uh, probably going to have it New Year's Eve. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I will have a New Year's show. It. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I got to tell you, I love all you guys. And thank you so much for being on. So until next Tuesday or actually until New Year's Eve, please. Play hard, play safe, play fair. Get out there and play some paintball. And if you can't get out there and play because the weather's cold and raining like it is here, support paintball in any way you can. All right? Love you guys. Have a good evening now.